y'all welcome to confetti charm my name is Jalen, and on this channel you'll see a little bit about fashion fitness lifestyle and some things on the in between so last week we would have talked about shoe trends the 2023 shoe trends and i'm telling you literally to go grab this stuff um and you know put it in your wardrobe but a lot of times we're telling you guys this stuff and we're like and you guys are like well how do i incorporate inside of my wardrobe meaning how do i wear it so today I came up with a few outfits here that I styled out of my own wardrobe um, to give you an idea of how I'll be incorporating these um, these trends inside of my own wardrobe. So it's kind of some of these things are new, some of the shoes are new, and some of the shoes are new only because I have not worn them as of yet. Don't judge me. I know I'm trying to get it together. You know I'm trying to get it together. So let's kind of go ahead and it's like it's kind of like a styling styling video and also like a try on I don't know let's go ahead and get into it <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it so you can kind of get some ideas on how to even style some of these shoe trends that you probably went ahead and grabbed um and how to even incorporate them inside of your wardrobe so let's go ahead and do it girl okay doll come in for the first look is this cargo pant kind of outfit with some platforms some silver platforms i'll show exactly what the platforms look like when i come up a little closer um but i styled it with these oversized um cargo pants that i got from fashion nova this little crop top with um with with the chest out a little bit here from sheen this little bag from primark um, and I just thought it was so cute. I thought it was a perfect way to add in these platforms, especially since these pants are super long on me. Um, and I just wanted to add in a little bit more height because I needed the height. <laughs> I needed the height. And the, sil the silver is obviously on trend right now. Um, I got these platforms specifically from Ross and they were like $25 or so. And I seen them, thought they were gorgeous, needed them in my wardrobe, and this is one of the ways that I wanted to style them. You guys let me know what you guys think. And I feel like, you know, the, and these are so easy to walk in. These are so easy to walk in because the heel is, is like a block, a thick block heel. So your footing, your, it's easier for you to catch your footing and just to be able to walk. So let me know what y'all think about these particular platforms. Do you like them? Are you a fan of them? Do you like the way that I styled this outfit and put things together? It was cute, it was simple. This is like a streetwear outfit that you can easily throw on and go on about your day. It's a white crop top, blue jeans. It's just a little bit of a different kind of variation of that, of that combination. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, so this is the second look I wanted to come up with for you guys. And these are featuring Mary Janes. This is the variation of Mary Janes that I, I grabbed um, from Primark. I got these from Primark. I think they were like $25. And I just thought they were so cute. They were blush. I already have a pair of black ones. Um, so I wanted to get another color. I paired it with these khaki um, coolettes. And they kind of have like a like that paper bag um, kind of style going on here for the waist. And then I paired it with this button up that has embroidery on it. Um, and as you see, it has the hints of pink. You'll see a little bit when I get closer. You have the, the hints of pinks. And then like this um, this bell sleeve at, um, at your like biceps here. And I just thought this was cute. I thought it was practical. Now this is a look that I will probably wear to church or even to work because it's a little bit more conservative, a little bit more reserved. Um, 
and it's like more of a workwear or even something super cute to throw on to wear to church he couldn't figure out what to wear you want to be cute and comfortable this will probably be like one of the looks that i'll go ahead and go for and then i just have this like little um this like sherpa kind of bag from um i think this is from target if i'm not mistaken i had this for, for quite a few years but this is a cute little look i thought it was so you know, it was chic, but also conservative and reserved and just, you know, kind of girly in a way. Um, and as you see, cause I think in the video, I told you guys to make sure that when you're wearing these kind of shoes that you have some kind of depth between, some kind of proportion between the ankle and where your Mary Janes are. And this kind of does that here. I think these coolettes go just down a little bit further here, but you can kind of see that, that proportion there. So that you're able to kind of get the bottom of the shoe and that you have a more sleek look here. Let me know what you guys think about this idea. Is it cute? Is it something that you'll wear to work? Or maybe not, maybe not, it's not your vibe. Let me know. Okay, so this is another look that I wanted to give you guys. Um, and this is obviously a little bit more of a dressy look. You can also wear this to work or you can also wear this um, to church or something a little bit more conservative, a little bit more reserved. And, you know, maybe a place that you might have to dress a little bit more, you know, dressy in a way. So this is one of the looks I wanted to come up with. I have this satin skirt. Um, and the satin skirt is, I don't know what color this is, it's like a purple, not an indigo, but it's somewhere around there. And then I have this, um, this lavender sheer shirt that has like the silver shim shimmer kind of in the inside of it here. Um, and then I paired it with this little iridescent bag because I think it brings all of the colors together. And then for the shoe, um, I chose these kitten, these cute kitten heels. Um, they have like this little fur detail on the top. I thought these were, would be a cute addition because I feel like it would kind of go with um, this color skirt. It kind of like works its way down in a nice, um, in a nice chic way and to kind of do like this color scheme here so let me know what y'all think um i did not prefer this bag but i do not have a bag yet with this color shoe because i would prefer this color um this color purse because i feel like it just would have brought everything in a little bit more even though this bag is not bad i just I like for my shoe, sometimes I like for my shoe and my, my bag to match because I feel like it just works with everything. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this look. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but like, does this work with your, you know, your wardrobe? Is this something that you might have would have come up with? Or nah, you're not feeling it? Let me know what y'all feel. another look that I wanted to give you guys with the flats um, but these are the these are embellished flats so I don't know if I would consider these like the embellished 
they're not ballet flats because they're not closing on the back. So I'll just say they're, they're in Bella shoes. And I love these shoes. I grabbed them um, from a local store here called Discovery. I love that little store. They have really cute finds for a very good price, especially very budget friendly girls like me. Um, and I love these little shoes. I've seen them. They had them in black also. I should have grabbed them in black. Um, but I love this pink. This pink was gorgeous. It's this pretty hot pink. Um, it has like the satin um, finish. It has a satin material on the top and then it has like the little diamond bow thing going on here. And then I paired it with some cargo shorts that I got from Shein. Um, this bag I got from Primark. Um, the necklace, this this 3D, um, 3, 3D um, what is it called? Is it a three? I guess it's a 3D choker. Um, that I got from Shein also in this all this top I also think I got from I don't know if I got it from Boohoo or Discovery, but I just love this little look. It is not like what you would probably think to put on, like throw on, but it's practical, it's cute, it's chic, it just gives a little bit of extra, but still very in a nice subtle but loud way. <laughs> because of the pink, the pink is very vibrant and it's very bold. Um this green just goes with anything. Again, it's a canvas, white is a canvas. So I just decided to pair pink with it. Um, and also to make sure I can show you how you can incorporate the shoes in here. Um, but what y'all think? I love this little look. And I also have these little glasses. And I usually don't do glasses in my video, but I thought this was fitting, you know? I thought this was fitting. And um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Put on the little glasses. What y'all think about this look? Is it giving the girls a little something? And it's practical, like you can go out all day in this and wear this and be comfortable, be cute, be chic, fashion forward, bold, a little extra, and it just gives. What y'all think? Okay, for my second to last look, I wanted to show you guys um, the sculpture um, heels. So these are like kitten sculpture heels. So it's kind of like two trends mashed in together. I've had these shoes, I would say about four years, three, four years-ish. And I just love them. I think they're so cute. They're, they're really short. They remind you of flats almost because they're just not high enough to even really con be considered as heels. But I do think it is a great idea to even show these because I guess they are still kind of heels. So yeah, I, I don't remember even where I got these from. I know that we used, I used to sell these um, with my boutique some time ago, but yeah. And then I paired it with this little patch kind of linen dress um, from Forever 21. Henry Jones did a collaboration with them and he had a whole collection with all of these little, you know, with this kind of print on it. I just loved it. I think it is so cute. Never got to wear it. I feel like um, the back part is too high up um, and the front comes down a little too long. So I kind of wanted to get it altered, but yeah. And it is a little big up here too, so I wanted to get it altered up here also because I'm not busty at all, y'all, at all. Um, so that's that. And then um, I paired it with this little um, bag that I got from Aldo some years ago. Probably, I think from college. I got this bag back in college. So this is the way I paired the sculptural heels with. I thought it was cute. I thought it was practical. It could be 
a cute little street wear look you can throw like a jean like a little jean crop top jacket on if it's a little too cool um you know and style it up with some shades you know do something a little cute and this is just literally me showing you practical ways that you can incorporate these same little shoes um inside of your wardrobe however you want to so Okay, y'all, so this is the last look that I wanted to show you. And these are my version of ballet flats. So I got these shoes um, a few years ago from Zara. Never worn them. That's why I was like, ooh, I lied. I definitely got ballet flats. But anyway, um, I got these from Zara. And they have, like, this white leather on the top and, like, this rope kind of nettish thing on the outside which is why I paired it with this particular belt. Um, and then I just have on like this oversized white button up shirt. And I have on some jean shorts under here because the shirt kind of comes up a little bit here. I don't want no crouch showing, you know. Um, and then I paired it with this white bag that has gold hardware and just some gold jewelry to keep it cute and simple. This is like a cute day out walking, um, um, you know, like walking around, shopping, whatever. It's just like a little cute little outfit. It's practical. Um, I can throw it on and just be, feel comfortable because, you know, I'm wearing flats. I don't have to worry about my feet hurting. And, you know, just going about my day. What you guys think about this look? shoe trends video I guess that's what you would call this um, please be sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified each and every time I post a video um, let me know what style works best for you what works great with your wardrobe with your lifestyle and also please be sure to comment and let me know like how you would have styled it differently did I change your perspective on how you can you know wear something let me know if you want to change something let me know also um i like to know how to you know switch it up a little bit i'm always open to figuring out a new style figuring out a new way of wearing something so let me know girl because we need to you, share with the class you know share with the class and that's all i have for you today in this video until next time babes <laughs>